Hello everyone and welcome to Nashville Interiors. I'm Denise Simons, your host, and today I'm taking you on a tour of one of my remodels. So come on in. Stacy wanted modern aesthetics with old world charm, and I'm gonna show you how I married the two. First, when you first walk in, there are double doors, and these are reclaimed. They're very old doors, and we painted those black, and then I had seated glass put inside. There's also glass knobs. And then as you enter, you see the floor, and it's a stone floor in a herringbone pattern. It's also heated. Then you will notice the cabinetry with the gold accents. The countertop is a quartz and it is a waterfall edge. Then you will see the art and the art is photography uh, from her trip to Europe and then we had it gallery wrapped. Then you'll notice how I juxtaposed these two, old world and new. This is a mirror. I wanted her to be able to put her makeup on and there's three settings on this. Then the light fixture is a 1930s reproduction with the ball and the gold. Then you'll notice the big tub. This is very transitional. It's black, so it looks great in the room. Above it is a chandelier that's reclaimed. And when we started, this did not have a window in it. In fact, we worked from plans and took out several walls. So the window uh, is a reclaimed piece as well. Then you'll see the walk-in shower. And in the walk-in shower, the back is a two foot by four foot pieces of tile. And this is in an onyx. Um, there's also two shower areas. And then there's a drain in the floor in the back. And all of this is with gold accents. I also painted all the doors in black. This Gracie wall covering is beautiful. It's actually hand painted by four artists and it brings all the colors in this bathroom together. In the kitchen, we took out two columns to give it a very large open space. And Stacy wanted a large island. On the island, we have the antique white mystery. Um, this is the mystery leather and it's beautiful. It has a waterfall edge and it's also framed out all the way around on the end caps. Uh, we also used white cabinets, and uh, thanks to the kitchen queen, my friend, uh, who does beautiful cabinetry. And as you can see, we used the metal inside some of the cabinets just to give it a nice accent, and we use that in the gold. Uh, the light fixtures are pendants, and they are made of wood, and that matches perfectly with the chandelier that she had existing. All of the accents are in gold, and so we just stayed very neutral with the white and the gold, and it just gives her a great big open space to entertain family and friends. As you walk through the arched doorways that we created, this is the scullery, and this is where she keeps all of her serving pieces. The butler's pantry is in black cabinetry. It has black pools, and the back of it is a mirrored glass. It's an antique mirror, but it's in a brick pattern. It's a great look. Right above us is a reclaimed chandelier. It's very petite, looks great in here, and then we have two pendants that are reclaimed. The windows here are very old, so we added those as well. One is an arched window and the other is a beveled window. On the floor is a checkered pattern of stone. One is in a crema and then one is arctic white. It looks so pretty and very vintage as well. So the feature in this little powder room is the tile, and it is a stone that you can see in different color tones. When you look, it's very modern looking, but it really has an arabesque shape to it. I also added the mirror on the wall because it really makes the room look more spacious, and it doubles the light fixtures in the mirror. And remember, you can mix modern aesthetics with old world charm. I hope you've been inspired. Until next time.